Greetings and welcome everyone to Bridge Project. The Bridge Project is a game where your project in the game is to complete a bridge and have your little cars and buses and all other good stuff travel across it and hopefully survive. Although if they do happen to die and crash in a hilarious fashion, it's pretty damn awesome. Pretty damn awesome. Now, let's get looking at the options menu first and foremost. It's pretty basic stuff, you know, it's got a few good features which is nice, you know, the graphics quality, but it doesn't have any, you know, in-depth options. It's not like you can choose whether to have AA on or AA off, or choose any of the anisotropic filtering or anything like that. It's basically just fast, medium or best. And it's the same for also the vegetation, which is kind of odd that they would separate them, but whatever. And it also has two volume sliders, which is awesome. You got music volume slider and you got the general volume slider, which is pretty good. I like volume sliders. And I that's pretty much all the volume that there is in this game. I think there's like a few sound effects from the cars, but that's about it. So we also have a daytime simulation slider over here, which after you tick it, will actually allow you to change the little slider and change what time of day it is. I'm gonna pick that time of day. It's very neato. Now, over here in the bottom left of the options menu is a nice little uh, grid transparency thing. As you can see here, there's a big giant green grid that shows you that is all over the screen pretty much. So you're like, oh, that's kind of ugly. Let's just get rid of that. And you can do that. So that's good. And it's not on or, on or off either. You have transparency sliders. So that's good. So I'm going to have it just uh, barely visible. Barely visible. Now let's start a new game. Uh, Butts McGee, sure. Oh, someone's already Butts McGee. Whoops, I forgot about that. Let's try uppercase Butts McGee. See if that'll work. Yep, that does. Okay, we're uppercase Butts McGee. So... Here are your levels to select. You've got a rural map, a city map, a canyon map, and a varied map. I'm going to choose the rural map just because it looks pretty cool. So, this is our little area. You can see that there's a little hole here that kind of needs some filling up. So, why don't we put a bridge in there? So, let's select our materials. We have a roadway and wood. If we select the roadway, we can create it so that it goes across, and this is what the people will use to travel. But you see, if we just leave it like that, it will collapse, so we need to give it some support. And that's one of the main things that this game has, it's this big physics system and how you can stress certain areas and make it a lot more um, in-depth and stuff like that and just continually test it until you can succeed with it. So let's see if this will work. Alright, so we've got our little cars here that are going across, let's see if they can't, yep, there they go. Test one, done, and now we can also change the simulation speed so we can make it super slow and dramatic, like, <gasps> will he make it? Will he make it? And there's also the auto action camera if you want to see the action. Now, I'm going to just uh, continue this on. Let's uh, actually fasten this up. There we go. And we have one. There we go. Simple as that. And now we have completed the level. It's fairly simple stuff in the first level. And then, like, in the next level, it gets ridiculously difficult. Let's go to rule map number two, start playing. Okay, so you see here, this is our little area again. Now we have more materials, and as you continue on in the game, you will get more and more materials to use, and this will make it more and more complicated for you to figure out how to make the best bridge. Now there are also tons of unique ways that you can solve these uh, bridges, because um, you saw in the previous level that I had completed it by just having a little thing at the bottom, and that was pretty much it. But if you look at this screenshot, you can see that the developers have done it in a different way to what I have done it. So there are tons of different possibilities for you to be able to do it. For you to be able to solve the bridge problem, pretty much. So it's, it's very nice. So now let's um, get our cable out and stick it right up here. Like that. Hopefully this will hold it up. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, so that's not good. Uh, let's have that there. Ooh, and that there, there we go. So now we have placed our little things there. Let's see if that will work. It will not work, and that has destroyed everything. So now you can either click undo, which will remove like the previous four or three actions you've performed. But if you want to restart the entire map, you've got to click restart map. And that will delete everything, which is nice. Okay, so now let's place the roadway back down. Actually, in these building options, you can select these little uh, neat options, which I'm going to click Auto Build, Auto Roadway Build. So basically that means when I select the wood, 
it'll just automatically build on top of it. Now there are also other materials that you can use, like iron, and that will also work for that as well. So that's actually really neat, since I don't really like the whole, the fact that you have to add roadway and then wood as well. It just, it's a bit too much for me. It's like, it adds too much to the complication. Well, it doesn't actually make it complicated, but it just is a bit too tedious for me, I suppose. So I like the fact that you can just turn it off. It's much better and makes it more enjoyable. Okay, so let's place that down right there and there. I'm gonna have to try and place it at an angle, okay. Now let's try the cables and see if this will work. Will that work? Oh, that actually kind of looks horrible. So you can see by the fact that it's pink that that means it's very stressed out. If it's green, that means you're fine and dandy. But if it's pink like this, oh man, run the heck away. It's not going to work. Actually, this might actually work. Hold on. Holy crap, it worked! I wanted to see it splat! Ugh, that's embarrassing. There actually have been one time, or sorry, there actually has been one time where I built the bridge, and then in the final mission, like the final few seconds where it's like, congratulations, you won! The bridge just completely collapsed, and it was hilarious, because it's like, you are awesome! You've won! And, it's, and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, you're dead. But it, I still won, so I don't care. So you can see now we have unlocked the iron material, so we can just uh, place it here, and as you can see, it's still got the whole, you know, uh, auto roadway being built on top of it, but actually let's just use wood instead for this top bit. I want to use iron as the support beams, see if that will help. Let's just place that right there. So this game is actually um, very relaxing and difficult at the same time. Uh, Basically, you just want to continue to find out new and unique ways to solve the bridge puzzle, and it's, oh man, it's just going to destroy your brain trying to figure it out, like, figure out what you can and cannot do, and it's just amazing. Like, there are, I believe the, the key features page on the Steam page said it has countless, countless puzzle solutions for the bridges. Countless, man! They couldn't count how many solutions! That's amazing! Well, they're really bad at counting. Either way, it's impressive, but one of them is in a depressing way. But I'm going to assume it's the impressive way. But anyway, this is basically just the game. Just solve the bridges, get from one side to the other, and it's done. Simple as, right? And that's pretty much it, yeah. But the puzzles, as you continue on in the game, do get more and more difficult. You can also, oh, hold on, Windstorm? I'm gonna try that out. Oh! That's actually pretty neat. So you can have like lots of um, I kn I knew you could like have like these little manual tests over here, but I didn't realize you could do it for the wind. Huh? That's cool. So you can test out to see if your wind if it will survive certain pressures, like this two two hundred and eight kilometer per hour windstorm. Wow, my bridge actually managed to survive that. Wow, that is impressive. I did not expect my my bridge to survive that. Okay, now let's try out some tanks. How about nine of them? Sure, there we go, 270 tons worth of tanks. Hopefully my bridge can survive this, or actually hopefully not, so it just crashes. Oh my god, no. No, please don't tell me it's going to work. Are you kidding me? It worked? Oh, pff. <laughs> That tank just got messed up. And that actually counts as a success. Alright, so I suppose that these little cars that are going to come across would succeed. Let's use the, the official test, there we go. So we've got little three cars coming across, which is uh, which are only three tons, so it's not that much at all. Yeah, if a bunch of tanks can survive it, I don't think these buses and little cars are going to have a problem. But yeah, it's actually very pretty. It's got um, it's fully 3D as you can see, obviously. So it's got a very nice look to it. It it's very impressive, and it's just a very nice game to just chill out with and just try and figure out a puzzle or something like. It's just something you come home from work, you play the game, and you just relax. You let you, well, you don't exactly turn your brain off, but you just play it. It's a very nice, rewarding feeling. My biggest problem with this game, though, my biggest problem, my huge number one pet peeve with this game is its price point. It's $20. $20 is a pretty huge amount of money, and unless you're, like, really, really into bridge simulator games, I struggle to recommend this game. Like, this is obviously, this is the best, this is the best bridge simulator game I have ever played, 
period, but I still struggle to recommend it at $20. Maybe if you pick it up on a Steam sale for like, I don't know, 50 bucks, no, 50, 50% off I meant to say, 50 bucks, Jesus Christ, I don't know anyone that would purchase this for 50 bucks, that's a bit, that's a bit ludicrous. But if you could purchase this game for 50% off, like $10, or maybe 75% off even, then that'd be fine as well, but at freaking $20, uh, I struggle to recommend this game to you, so yeah, use caution. If this game looks like it's worth $20 to you, then go go right ahead and purchase this game, by all means. But I think for those of you that are mostly like most likely watching this video, which is just, you'd probably purchase this purchase this game for a laugh and then not touch it again for like another decade, I wouldn't recommend this game to you. This is probably not for you. This is not going to work out well, is it? No, it's not. Oh, I forgot to put a little thing here and here. Oh well. Let's watch this bridge collapse. Okay, that was a bit rude. You guys didn't collapse the bridge. Okay, six tons of weight. This, this, should, this should collapse it. Yeah. Yeah, look at those stress marks. Yeah, little stress test marks in there. As I said before, you want to make sure that everything is green so it doesn't collapse on ev on all your cars and then they'll be like, no, we're crashed. Oh, it's actually going to work. Oh, well, I'll be. Well, this has been Bridge Project. As you can see, it's pretty simple stuff. You know, you just, just create a bridge and then that's it. It also has leaderboards as well. you got the world records, cheapest bridges, world ranking and stuff like that. I am nowhere to be seen on this at all. Okay, so um, let's actually go back to the main menu. Here we are. So you can also create maps, which is actually a nice little feature. Let's create a new map, sure. Uh, sure, I'm actually really bad at this. I have only played around with it for a little bit before starting this recording. So you'll have to forgive me for how rubbish I am. But it looks like it has like somewhat good... Um, tool set to be able to create your own little bridges and you this does have steam workshop support if i if i remember correctly so you can create all you can save these and then upload them to the steam workshop which is pretty cool i believe you could do that anyway uh don't seem to be able to find oh hey look at that sun and sky oh that's nice that's really nice let's get rid of the fog okay rainbow man oh hell yeah okay so this is so you can just save all your little stuff, and that's pretty much it. It's very nice. Oh, hey, look at that. Let's place that there, and that one there. That's not gonna work, it's not gonna let me place it. But still, it's a very nice little game. I just, if it was cheaper, I would give it a, a massive recommendation because of how just enjoyable and calming it is, but otherwise, no, I can't really recommend it. So, yeah, this has been Bridge Project, and it's been pretty awesome. It's very fun. But at $20, I struggle to recommend this game just because of how unique and untested it is. If you know, without a doubt in your mind, that you will enjoy the best bridge building simulator ever, then I can recommend this game 120%. But if you have even the slightest doubt in your mind that you might not enjoy this game, wait for a sale. Wait for either 50% off, or wait for 75% off. Just don't rush out and buy it, because it's $20, it's a huge, huge price take for such a unique game that probably won't be worth it for the majority of you, because you might not end up liking the best bridge simulator game ever. So, yeah, on that note, thank you for sticking around, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and GG. How the fuck do I exit this game? Is it what? Ah, okay. There we go.